Hey folks, how's it going? Peter here with BlackRock Business, and today we're going to take a look at QuickBooks Point of Sale and some things you can do to customize the different lists in Point of Sale. Before we do that, I'm going to jump on over to BlackRockBusiness.com. That's right, BlackRockBusiness.com. You can go there and check out all the latest news, blog posts, and tips about QuickBooks and QuickBooks Point of Sale. If you want to, jump on over to the store and you can pick yourself up some new software or hardware. We'll see you there. Back to point of sale here. We're going to take a look at the item list. I am surprised, continually surprised, at how many people don't know that you can do this. Uh, they just take the item list for what it is, but you can actually customize your item list to see all sorts of different information in the columns here. So you can see that uh, you can reorder by columns, by description, by size, by price, all these things. Uh, of course, by item number. You probably knew that, uh, but maybe you didn't know that you can add and subtract different columns. So you go ahead and right click on one of these settings here and go to customize columns. That brings down this little handy dandy menu uh, where you can see that the check marks at the top here are all the columns that we currently have. And then there are a ton of different column headers that we don't have displayed here. Uh, so some of the uh, most important ones for somebody that's going to add some columns to their item list might be, uh, if you do any serial number tracking, you probably want to see what those are. Um, I would say that a very important column might be unit of measure. If you receive in a different unit, measure, unit of measure than you do uh, sell in. Uh, you can take a look at tax code. That might be a good way to organize your uh, products by what is taxable and what is not. Uh, you can take a look at the reorder points. If you have reorder points set up, which I might also mention is a very useful tool. Uh, let me see, what was that one that I just saw a little bit ago here? Uh, vendor name is, I think, very important. I'm gonna go ahead and add that you can see what I'm talking about. Now we have a brand new column here. We have uh, Al Sports out here has a number of different vendors for all of his products. And you can totally see the vendor that all these products are coming from. If you are utilizing the purchase order system to uh, go ahead and order new products and receive them with the receiving voucher, you may want to add uh, the column here for on order, I think. So here's on order. If you have a purchase order out, maybe a product is completely out of stock, uh, but you've ordered more. Maybe you want your clerks to know that there's more coming so that they can inform your customer. So now I added that and we can see, well, Al Sports Hut is not doing a very good job at ordering anything. So there's nothing on order. However, in your company, if you are using purchase orders, you would probably have some numbers in the on order column and your clerk would be able to inform people, oh, we're gonna get that next Tuesday, yep. So there you go, folks. That was a quick, sweet video on how to add columns to your inventory item sheet.